are both of his balloon counters, essentially, right? So now that he doesn't have those in hand, we go like this, and I think they're going to really struggle to defend this. I could rage it up. Now I'm going to rage it up. And just like I told you, you can play around a building. We took their entire tower, even though they have a bomb tower and bats and a mother witch. And that's how you use You got to use this deck. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Durky here. And today I'm going to be playing with this awesome uh, balloon cycle deck that has the Evo bats as well as the little prince and the Evo knight. So I'll go ahead and show it on the screen right now. This is what the deck looks like if you want to take a screenshot or anything like that. And this deck's a lot of fun. Um, it's number three on Royal API right now. That's kind of how I found it. Um, so I'll show you everything that I know with this deck and see if we can go ahead and get some dubs. Okay. So I'm just going to cycle a Goblin Cage. You can pretty much cycle a Goblin Cage whenever you want. Because um, it spawns a troop. Which is really, really nice. Okay, he goes for the RG. I'm going to go for a defensive minor. And honestly, this is going to get a little bit of damage. But I'm just going to let it do, it do its thing. I'll take the arrows onto the firecracker. Okay, we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. We're going to move on. But yeah, this deck's really fun, honestly. Um, you don't have too many bad matchups. And usually when you do have a bad matchup, there are things that you can do to tilt the matchup into your favor. Like messing up a King Tower activation. Okay, so they spent a lot there. They also just used their firecracker. So I'm going to go like this and get ready with my rage to see what they have. Okay, they have a cannon. Well played. So Cannon is going to do a great job taking care of the Balloon, but we do get some Bat Chip, and we do know their win condition is Royal Giant. So we're going to play the matchup a little bit differently with that knowledge in, in hand. He also has a Poison, so we're going to try and play around that. So yeah, if you didn't see the balance changes for next season, the season the Little Prince and the Knight are both getting nerfs. So um, okay, he takes the Poison. It's fine with me. So yeah, take advantage of them now before they get nerfed next season. No surprise that those cards are getting an adjustment, honestly. Okay, he's not playing anything. He just eats that knight. I don't know if I agree, to be completely honest. I'm going to go like this, and then Goblin Cage to push it back. And I don't really expect this to get any damage on my tower. One shot is fine with me. Plus, they have to deal with this counter push. Maybe that'll force out a cannon or something. I'm going to rage this up. I should have done it sooner, to be completely honest, but it's still good. I actually expect to take most of their tower. Nice. I really want that Evo Firecracker off the board, so I'm going to go like this with a Miner. And then I'm going to Rage it up. And get that all off the board. Threaten to take the tower. Nice, and that puts it in a spell range. Yeah, I had a feeling he was going to go for the Royal Giant. We're going to go like this. Now that he's gotten the Firecracker off the board, we're going to go with our Bats. And one Royal Giant hit's not going to take us down. We're going to Rage this up. And uh, my boy's not going to be able to defend. So, good first game against Royal Giant. I think we played it pretty well. And um, we'll go ahead and clean up the game here. Make sure that they don't break through. Yeah, no Golden Knight. We're going to block that with the Miner. Goblin Cage up high. And that's a great first game. We're going to go ahead and take the dub. And we'll catch y'all in the next one. Into our next game here against Bad Boy. And something I will say about the meta and this deck is... A lot of decks are running a building because of the evolved wall breakers. It's pretty common. <laughs> That's funny, right? As I say that, I'm gonna goblin cage to block that. So you will kind, you will need to learn, you know, how to play around a building. Um, you have lots of, you know, counters. I guess you could say. You have the evolved prince. You can dash that across the bridge. You can block with a miner, or you can just try to outcycle it. So don't get discouraged if you play a lot of decks with buildings. Um, I'll try and show you how you can play around that because very much. You, you will be going against decks that have buildings, mainly because of the, the implications of the evil wall breakers. So just keep that in mind. So this person is running guards, mother witch, and bats. So I don't 100% know um, what they're cooking up. Okay, they go for the poison there. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to let that do its thing. Because Little Prince is going to take care of a lot of that. And now that forced out the bomb tower and the bats, which are both of his balloon counters, essentially, right? So now that he doesn't have those in hand... We go like this, and I think they're going to really struggle to defend this. I could rage it up. Now I'm going to rage it up. And just like I told you, you can play around a building. We took their entire tower, even though they have a bomb tower and bats and a mother witch. And that's how you use You got to use this deck. I'm going to go like this to block the mother witch. So even if my little prince gets wiped out, it's not going to spawn a pig. And at this, at this point, 
It's pretty much GG's. We just have a minute, 20 seconds left. We just need to make sure we defend, and we can essentially play spells on their tower to finish the game. Mm. Yeah, I kind of have it. I had a little bit of brain lag there. I was like, oh, do I go for the goblin cage? Arrows is only three elixir. I'm going to eat the one on the opposite side and just let it go. So, I know they have bats. I'm hoping that if I go minor bats, they'll drop the his bats onto it and we can rage it up. No, he goes for the Mother Witch. And then Evo bats of their own. It's kind of well played, I'll admit. That's fine. If he poisons that, I'm going to arrows on the Evo bats to take care of everything. And I'm going to let that wall breaker go. Evo Knight's going to go like this. We're okay. I'm going to go for a Balloon here and a Miner and a Bats. Rage onto their Bats. Perfect. And Arrows here. Nice. Yeah. I, the whole point was not panicking on their counter push. It was the main thing that I tried to do there. And I'm going to Little Prince on this side. Goblin Cage on this side. Miner to take their other tower. Miner Rage. And just like that, we protected both of our towers, took both of their towers, uh, and got BM'd in the process. So good game to our opponent. Didn't matter that they had a building, like I said. We'll catch you in the next one. In our next match here. And yeah, this deck is a ton of fun. Uh, you don't see a lot of balloon decks in the meta, but this is probably, I would say, the best variant. Um, so it's nice to see it. It's nice to see it at the, at the top of the Royal API. Definitely would recommend giving it a try, especially if you're someone who likes running balloon decks. I had people sometimes in the comments who are like, oh, like, I like running balloon. What's a good balloon deck? So finally decided it was time. Okay, this guy might be running balloon as well. Recruits archers. Kind of looks like it could be a balloon deck, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm in a little prince here behind this. Just trying to help DPS all this down. Yeah. Recruits are kind of annoying to deal with, just like with any deck. No one likes playing against recruits, but this deck can handle it fairly well. That lumberjack is going to get DPS down. I draw. I pop my ability a little too late there. At least I think so. Yeah, going to get taken care of. We're going to get a little bit of chip on the tower, and we're going to try and figure out what their win condition is. Could be goblin giant. Could be RG. It really could be a lot of things, to be honest. I expect him to pop the ability. Once that locks on, we're going to go bats. Perfectly timed bats um, to take down that little prince. I'm going to arrows onto the archers. And uh, just kind of chill. So no archers in hand and no little prince. I'm tempted to go in with, like, a naked balloon. Okay. So we're going to see if either of us can defend here. Okay. Nice. And I think we're going to be able to defend, and uh, we're going to end up taking a lot of their towers. So that was really good. Um, I knew that a lot of their balloon counters were out of hand, so that's kind of why I went for that. So we need we need to watch out for those Evo recruits, but they're not in Psycho right now, so that's really good for us. Saving my Little Prince. Whenever you can, like, if you don't need to play your Little Prince, you kind of want to save it. Unless you're intentionally using it to get, like, a three-card cycle or something like that. So I will drop it in the back to get my three-card cycle rolling. Fisherman makes me think he's running Royal Giant or something like that, but I guess, I mean, I guess not. Okay, I haven't seen a good answer for bats, so I'm going to go like this. And I think bats are going to get a ton of value. Okay, yeah, Snowball. But I mean, all of this is going to get DPS down. He's going to probably ignore that miner, to be completely honest. Okay, Evo Archers are definitely a threat. So we need to have our arrows ready for them. If he plays them, there they are. Yep. And I forgot that Evo Archers don't die to arrows. That seems kind of weird to me, but I forgot that. We need to pull all of this in. Once that locks on, we're going to go for our bats. Okay, he does have a balloon. That kind of makes sense now that I think about it. Okay. I'm going to arrows here just to minimize the damage we take from the balloon. One shot is more than enough. Cool. Cat's out of the bag. We know that they're running Balloon. I'm going to pop my ability early this time, and I'm glad that I did. And then I'm going to save my Goblin Cage now that I know that they for sure are running Balloon. Nice. We have our Evo Bats in Cycle, so we don't really need to worry about too much. I'm going to do this, because the Evo Knight is going to tank for it. Then we're back to our Little Prince. Okay. 
Mm, one balloon shit. Not not great, but it is what it is. Okay, gonna split my bats here and go for a high goblin cage. Goes for the arrows. Fair, fair, fair. We're just gonna chill. I mean, we're in a really good position here. Okay. I'm just gonna start going for minor chip, I think. Pop the little prince ability here to keep him alive. Because we have a really fast cycle. And a pressure with balloons. Gonna rage everything up. Have arrows ready for archers. And I don't think he can stop this balloon for no hits. So that's a good game to our opponent, who is running another very popular balloon deck. But I like our variant better. So GG's. We'll catch you in the next one. Game against the Black Mamba. Formerly known as Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace. And we will go ahead and minor on their minor. If we don't catch it. You can actually redirect it, but I, I kind of messed it up. Little Prince here, just to support this. Why not? Mine are going to do a little bit of work here, and it forces out a response from our opponent, so no complaints from me. He could be running, like, Minor Cycle or something like that, and the Bomb Tower actually doesn't lock onto the Little Prince. So when I see the Bomb Tower out of hand, I'm tempted to go like this. And uh, see what they, they have in response. Nice arrows. And we get a balloon hit out of that. Maybe two? Nah, too good to be true. I'm interested to see if they're running like a similar deck to us. It's possible. Okay, I'm gonna go like this, and then I need to minor onto the Little Prince, otherwise it does too much DPS. And then we're good. He might be running the same deck! He has... No, but he has a Bomb Tower. So. One thing's for sure, I hope that uh, if you're playing in this meta, you do have Little Prince unlocked, because that card is everywhere right now. Okay. He might go bats behind this. Yeah, I was gonna say, there it is. We're just gonna take the arrows. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then we're gonna go for a reset in the back. I don't yet know what his win condition is. I'm a little prince in the opposite lane, the lane that they have their damage. If he has, like, a balloon or something, we have bats and we have goblin cage. Yeah, exactly. It's not that big of a deal. He saw us cycle the little prince, and he's like, oh, like, good timing. And those arrows are okay, but... I was going to say, well, how does he defend this? He has bats, but I have rage. He doesn't even have bats in cycle, actually. So, I think he got a little too aggressive there. Yeah, he's going to try and tower trade. But, I don't know. Too aggressive, question mark? Okay. I'm going to draw my Evo bats here. Rage on the little prince. Oh, please. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Sticky situation there, but I was like, at a macro level, the decisions that we made were a lot better than theirs. I'm going to try and block the bridge. Nah, we don't, unfortunately. Okay, I'm going to go for bats here. And then I'm going to Little Prince low as well, because I expect the arrows. And I think Little Prince stops a balloon hit. They're, we're going to take death damage, but that's okay. Okay. I kind of want my Little Prince to die, to be honest, because I want to have, like, another one in cycle. Okay, that puts it in a spell cycle range, but look at how much damage we've gotten on the, the King Tower. Yeah. This is going to be GG's. I was going to say, he has to play a spell on that side, and then I don't really think he has anything here. Nice. So this game gets extended, unfortunately, but like I said, look at the damage done to the King Tower. So, it is what it is. Just going to cycle a knight in the back. That Goblin Brawler is going to go in. We have the advantage of being able to press the King Tower, so we're going to absolutely do that. We're going to go like this. I'm going to rage this up. I'm going to go for arrows of my own. Miner's going in. Pressure with bats. Just continue to spell cycle. And at this point, we can just rage on the tower, I think. 58. Good game to our opponent. They played well. I mean, they did what they did with their disadvantage, but we ended up getting the three crowns. So GG's. We'll catch you in the next one. All right, into our next matchup here. And, um... What do you all think about the evolutions? I noticed that next season we're getting a buff to the Ice Spirit. We're getting a buff to the Valkyrie. I think those are long overdue. And the nerfs to the, the Bomber and the Knight. Uh, I think those are long overdue too. Looks like we might be up here against 2.6. Unconfirmed. That would be a really good matchup for us. I mean, they have Musketeer and the Cannon. But you can just do a lot with this deck. There's a ton of outplay potential. Yeah, there's the Hog Rider. We're going to go for our High Goblin Cage here. And... Uh, Ice Golem's tanking, so I think he's going to get one hog hit here. Hopefully not more than that. Mm, he's going to get two. Yeah, I didn't want to, like, panic and overspend, to be completely honest. 
So they have Fireball, Musketeer, um, are kind of their best answers to Balloon. I'm gonna go like this. Maybe he'll Fireball, we'll see. Or maybe he'll struggle. I don't know, cycle back to another cannon. I expect him to Fireball. Oh, he actually is just going for the like some t tower trade. It's fine with me. We're definitely gonna get more damage than they do, so it's all good. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, granted, he kind of managed to cycle poorly, but... Once I saw that that cannon was out of out of hand there, like his only option was to go for a balloon, so... Really good situational awareness, and now that they know that we're running balloon, it'll probably be a lot harder for us to break through, so glad that we took it, took advantage of that early on. I'm gonna preemptively cycle a goblin cage here. And then arrows do 111, so I can actually take their tower with arrows. Which is really nice. I'm just gonna arrows all of this. Kind of DPS it down early. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get ready for a hog rider here. We know it's coming. There it is. Little Prince ability gonna pop, knock everything back. And he can take a fireball, but Little Prince is gonna survive. So at the end of the day, we're okay. Well played, well played, honestly. We're gonna go like this with the Evo Knight. Perfect. We do want to apply a little bit of pressure as well. We don't want to make his life too easy. Bats? I meant to push the balloon over there. You can actually do a little trick with the bats to push the balloon. Okay. Nice. Not the best fireball from him, and we're gonna end up taking most of their other tower. So even if they take our tower, we're like in a very good situation. Yeah, we actually did more damage to that tower than the other tower. My boy can only do so much in this situation. Okay. Goes for a really weird high cannon, so I'm just going to take this with the bats. I'm going to go in with the knight. And like I said, it's not necessarily the easiest for 2.6, um, even though they have a lot of answers. So, well played to us. We're going to win fairly easily there. So GG's, and uh, we'll go ahead and catch it in the next one. All right, into our next match here against Magnus. All right, hopefully it's not Magnus Carlson. Whenever I, I hear Magnus, that's like immediately what I think of. And I would hope that's not who I'm going against. Minor, they usually play it on the outskirts of the princess tower, just in case you have a tornado. So really easy catch there. Okay. Um, I'm gonna mirror me. their little prince with our mirror prince. Minor little prince, could be minor poison. We'll see if he poisons my little prince. That could very well be the case. It's a very popular deck in the meta right now. So he does that. So I'm going to go like this and see if there's anything I can rage. Yep. There we go. Yep. I had a feeling he was going to go for um, go for bats. Okay. Really good. Really fortunately for us that our tower actually locks onto the little prince. So we're actually able to get a fairly easy defense and then I'm not able to get a punish off. So minor poison control with little prince. That's one of the best decks at top ladder right now. So no surprise that this person's playing it. If you're in mid ladder, you might not see too much of it, but like anything like 7,000 trophies and above, um, this deck is all too common. So no surprise. Hey, we're gonna go bats. Maybe they'll poison. Wouldn't be that great of a poison. Nice. Okay, they split their bats as well. Fine with me. Takes the poison, no bats in hand. I'm gonna go like this. He can play a building. Uh, yeah, there's the Tesla. This We're not going to break through here, but... Didn't really have any other plays I could have done. I guess I could have cycled a building, but it's not that great. Okay, going to preemptive, preemptively Goblin Cage like this. And get ready to set up a defense. I kind of want... Okay, he's being really aggressive here. I'm going to go like this. And then I think he has to go for a defensive poison. I, I'm pretty sure. No, he doesn't. I say, I, th I think he should have defensively poisoned. To be honest, he was being very really aggressive there. Once he went in for that Miner and Skeletons, it's like he was kind of wasting Elixir. And those Evo Bats are going to take most of their tower, if not the entire tower, so. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. That's what I'm saying. The power of this deck, man. And the power of your opponent's uh, overspending for no reason. You can do things with this deck. Goblin Cage there, Little Prince behind. And at this point, there's really nothing that he can do. Um... So it looks like they might have gave up, so I'm going to go ahead and cut to the end when we secure the dub. So I'll see you there. So yeah, they gave up, uh, so we end up getting the three crown. GG's to our opponent. We'll go ahead and catch y'all in the next one. All right, into our next matchup here against Wens. 
and I won't say that this is like the best deck in the game, but I would put it up. I would put it upwards like in the top five. Especially like if you're a skilled player, you can do a lot with this deck. So definitely would recommend giving it a try. Okay, maybe got maybe giant graveyard. He might go for like a poison. Yeah, I don't want to play my bats because if he goes for like a spell, I think it's too much value. Little Prince actually does a really good job of DPSing down the giant. And we don't take a too much damage here. So the giant graveyard usually runs Little Prince and then archers or bats a lot of the time. Um, so we're going to see if that's the variant that they're running. Yeah, okay, I'm going to Rage. I don't get too much for that, honestly. It's a little disappointing. The Giant Graveyard, kind of an annoying matchup in general. Notoriously noted as, like, a no-skill deck, but um, we'll see. I know, I know a lot of top players run it. So because I believe we are up a teeny bit of Elixir, I'm going to go like this. We'll see if they have a Skarmy or something. No, just the Berry. Worthy of noting that our opponent does not have the Evolved Evolution, or the Evolved Berry, at least from what I can tell. Um, so that's good, because usually that is very, very troublesome. Okay, I'm going to go like this. I want my Little Prince to lock onto the Graveyard, actually. Like, DPS it down. Mm. Didn't do, it didn't do, it didn't do what I hoped it would do. I'm not going to lie. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't do what I hoped it would do, so we're, our only hope is to go in now. And hope to hopefully tower trade. I know Little Prince can be really good at defending Graveyard, but... It didn't, it didn't happen for me. So yeah, we do end up getting the tower trade, but honestly, against Giant Graveyard, that's not a good thing. You don't want a tower trade. Um, but we'll see if we can clutch up here. Giant Graveyard, pretty hard to defend uh, a Graveyard on your King Tower. So we'll see. We're gonna do our best. It goes in for a raw graveyard. There's the giant. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna arrows over here. And eat a ton of damage and hope that our counter push is threatening enough. Okay, arrows there. Okay. Good, 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 good. We actually have a nice counter push. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay. But like this. Evo Knight is gonna tank for this balloon. Oh, I think he messed up, chat. I think he messed up. Can we tank for the balloon? Can we tank for the balloon? I think we can. I think we can. Come on, one more hit, one more hit. Let's get arrows value. He kind of panicked and played those bats. Okay, nice. We need to threaten while he's going in here. He's definitely going to go in. We're going to go like this. And then we need to go in. Yeah, because he's going to go in. And as long as we time our rage well, we're going to actually clutch up, I'm pretty sure. Let's go. We beat a giant graveyard in a two tower situation. Well played to us, GGs. We'll catch you in the next one. In our next match against Kevin. Hi, Kevin. All right, we're going to hope the good luck to him. Uh, in, ter in terms of starting play, uh, Miner is fine. Bats, you can, like, split them to kind of, like, cycle to your Evos. Okay, we're going to go Miner here just to support our Bats and get ready with a Rage. He's going to be ready for it, though. He goes for the Little Prince. I feel like he's going to play, yeah, I was going to say. He's going to play something on the those Bats. We're going to mirror our Little Prince. And we find ourselves in a good situation, even though it might be a mirror matchup. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, they pop the ability, and it looks like it is a mirror matchup. Goblin Cage here. They don't have arrows in hand, but they could go for a rage, depending on how aggressive they want to be. And they just opt to let it go. I don't want to say no surprise, but perhaps that was the right move. Okay, we need to have our rage ready if they go for bats. Okay, perfect. So because I knew it was a mirror matchup. Yep. Nice. Huge. I'm fine. I'm going to let that miner go. Nice. So 100% a mirror matchup. So we know what their deck is. They have miner, balloon, little prince, bats, all of that good stuff. So we're going to keep that in mind. I'm just going to cycle my miner here. I don't want to cycle my knight. I'd rather save it for defense. It'll force out some elixir from him. And if not, we'll take the chip. Doing it for the Nice, so we see the Little Prince out of hand. We're going to drop our Knight. We need to make sure we save our arrows for the Evo Bats. That's what I'm, like, the most worried about. Okay, they do that. I'm going to actually go in with the Balloon because the only thing you should have for this is Bats. Right? Oops, 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 oops. Yeah, he had the same idea. <laughs> Goblin Brawler are actually going to do a decent job defending, though. Look at him go. Yeah, we need Evo Knight here. 
So we actually do get a lot of damage. Not as much as I would have, like, thought, but we get a lot. And that Goblin Brawler is thick, dude. He actually does so much DPS. So we find ourselves in a situation where we can go either lanes. It's a mirror matchup, so it doesn't really matter which lane you're going. But we do need to be careful because we do not have uh, our Evo Knight in cycle to defend this. I'm going to Balloon just to pressure. Do Rage kill these? They do. Good Rage. And that Evo Knight is tanking for a long time, so they're going to get two Balloon shots, if not more. That little prince is popping off for him right now. Yeah, well played. Okay, maybe. Miner tanking for the balloon. I think that's going to get two shots, chat. Let's go. Good game to our opponent. Excellent push there. He misplaced the goblin cage. That's why I went in for the balloon. So, did we play it perfect? No. But when it mattered, we clutched up. So GG's, we'll catch you in the next one. Right into uh, likely our last match of the video here against Frankito. And I'm gonna go ahead and cycle my Evo Bats and uh, give him the good luck. Goes for the Ice Spirit. I'm gonna Goblin Cage in the middle. Unfortunate timing with them going for the Miner, so I'm gonna go for the Knight as well. We're down a little bit of Elixir, so I'm not gonna support any of these troops. So Miner, Bats, not surprising to be honest. Kind of weird skeletons, though. Kind of in a weird log, too. <laughs> okay. Miner here is going to get some good chip. Okay. Maybe, like, Miner Cycle or something like that? I'm not 100% sure. I think Bats here clean house on those wall breakers. Nope, they absolutely don't. <laughs> Okay, I guess I should have gone for my goblin cage there. I thought that the bats were going to clean it up, but that's only with the tower assisting. Okay, maybe he goes for skellies, but I'm just going to let it let it go. Okay. We have rage ready. Mmm, evil ice spirit. Okay, evil ice spirit and Tesla. So this guy has a lot of answers. Little prince, Tesla, ice spirit. We're going to do our best to play around them. Right in the back in case he goes for the miner in the opposite lane. And if not, we're just cycling to our evolved knight, so that's fine too. Miner in the front, just out of range of the Tesla. Maybe they won't predict it. Okay, he just lets it go. That's interesting to me. Pre-goblin cage, it's gonna help out with possible wall breakers. Yep, exactly. Okay. Little, little prince off to the side, yeah, so if he pops the ability, exactly. Okay, really good poison for him. I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to rage, maybe hit skeletons. Oh, what a prediction. I figured that was all that he had in hand for that. So we're going to get a ton of damage. I don't know if that Tesla's in the right spot either. So I'm going to go like this. Maybe see. Oh, he messed up. Yeah. I always mess up my Tesla placements too, brother. It's not just you. Little Prince in the back. And honestly, cycle to my building. Yeah, because he pretty much only wins with the wall breaker connection at this point. So we're going to eliminate the possibility of that. We're going to rage on to possible skeletons. And uh, that's going to be a good game to my opponent. They played really well. They made one mistake and we capitalized off, off it. So that's a GG's and we'll go ahead and catch y'all in the next one. That's going to do it for today's video. Here's the deck one more time if you want to give it a try. Once again, so fun, unique. That's going to do it for today's video. Here's the deck one more time in, in case you want to take a screenshot. Please give this deck a try. It's so fun. It's so unique. You don't see a lot of balloon in the meta, and it's still really, really powerful, especially because there are nerfs coming next season to the Little Prince and the Evo Knight. So give it a try and let me know what you think of this deck in the comments, and I'll see you in another video real soon.